What is going on ladies and gentlemen, today we are jumping back into the world of Avatar. I'm excited to get back into it today, and I hope you guys are too, and uh, yeah, I don't have much else to say, I just want to watch some Avatar today, I, I, I can't tell you, I, I just, I'm ready. But, as per usual, my hair is all kinds of frizzy, so I'm wearing a hat again, I just, listen, I'm getting a haircut in the next couple of days, don't hate me, okay, I'm, I'm sick of wearing it too, uh, uh, I'm sick of half covering my eyes and shit when I'm watching, you know, so, bear with me, hat's almost over with. But, yeah, we got episode 9 and 10 of Avatar today. And if you guys want to check out the next 8 episodes, they're over on Patreon. If you guys do want to check that out, but uh, never feel obligated to do so, though. And if you have noticed, these lovely people up here floating, they are our Patreons. Our pa pa patrons, yes. Patrons, Patreons. Our Patreon Patreons, you know? And uh, they, they are lovely. I appreciate the hell out of them. Directly to you guys, thank you so much for all the love and support, especially over just on Patreon. You guys are just like the friendliest people ever, and I, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And we also have a plethora of shows you guys can check out throughout the channel, of course, but I know you're sick of hearing about it. So let's go ahead and get into some Avatar, because I am ready to go. All right, here we go. Okay, hold up. Sorry to pause, like, you know, right after starting, but is that Roku's voice that does the previously on Avatar? Because that's so fucking cool, actually. Just a detail I didn't even, like, put together until just now. That would make so much sense because he was the previous Avatar. So previously on Avatar. Previously as the Avatar. I love it. Okay. Mood. <laughs> Did he just airbend himself backwards? What is this? That's Ira's kid? That's depressing as fuck. Why are we seeing that? Oh. Uncle, you were unconscious. I hope I made it the way you like it. Uh -huh. <laughs> she's my sister, and I should be trying to get along with her. No. She's crazy and she needs to go down. <laughs> it's time to resume your training. Oh shit. Lots of encouragement and praise. Kind words. If he's doing something wrong, maybe a gentle nudge in the right direction. Thanks, Katara. Shake your knees high, twinkle toes. <laughs> <laughs> My god. Ow. I don't think we've seen him earthbend once. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, cool. Trying to make him sense it. Fortunately for you, you're made of meat. Oh my god. <laughs> Sokka, no. <laughs> This sounds so fucking cool, and it looks so fucking cool. <laughs> oh my god. I like how we described it as you like being like the, oh my god, like the humble guide of it. Because like the first time we saw him do it, I think he actually drew it from the sky and guided it elsewhere, which is really cool. I actually don't know how he's supposed to stop this, because we, we haven't seen him airbend, like, a single time. <laughs> I'm at earthbend, but he just jumped over it. There's nothing to say. You blew it. You had a perfect stance and perfect form. But then you could at least give it the pleasure of smushing you instead of jumping out of the way like a jelly-boned whip. My god. <laughs> you yeah, whatever. Go splash around until you feel better. <laughs> I can't say do it. Ah, oh, the parallel. I didn't even think about it. Ah, oh. Until you have dealt with the turmoil inside you. What turmoil? You must let go of your feelings of shame if you want your anger to go away. 
But I don't... True humility is the only antidote to shame. Well... A firebending move that even Azula doesn't know. Because I made it up myself. Oh shit. <laughs> I love how badass this scar looks through the hair. Oh my god. <laughs> it's actually adorable. Get out of this alive, it's a karmically correct vegetarian existence for me. No meat. Hey, looks Aww. Like yeah. <laughs> now come back, Boomerang. <laughs> if you face this issue instead of avoiding it, I know, I know, I know, I know. I what's the opposite of air? I guess it's earth. That's why it's so hard for you to get this. You're working with your natural opposite, but you'll figure it out. I know. Ah, oh, that's so cool. See you. That's so wholesome, man. Find the energy and drive to achieve what they want. Earth is the element of substance. They are persistent and enduring. Element <laughs> of freedom. The air nomads detached themselves from and found peace and freedom. Also, they have pretty good senses of humor. <laughs> water is the element of change. The people of the water tribe are capable of adapting to many things that holds them together through anything. All this four elements talk is sounding like Avatar stuff. It can make you more powerful too. You see, the technique I'm about to teach you is I love this. by studying the water benders. Oh, oh cool. So we adapted a fire move from the water benders. That's really fucking cool. Damn. Of a push over to do anything about it. I thought she was about to say something else. <laughs> it's not the only delicate instrument around here. He kind of is an instrument, too. Like, if you think about the avatar. <laughs> I will give up meat and sarcasm. Okay? That's all I got. It's pretty much my whole identity. I'm the meat and sarcasm guy. I'm willing to be sarcastic. <laughs> thank goodness we got any meat. <laughs> oh, we have to earthbend to get him out. Cool. <laughs> it would just be really uncomfortable. Uncomfortable? Well, I wouldn't want you to feel uncomfortable. <laughs> it puts me in a really awkward position. Awkward position. I think I know the feeling. If I try. I <laughs> like how the music stopped when Sokka talked. <laughs> I feel like between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> how about that? Ang, this foo cuddly poops. <laughs> foo foo cuddly poops. <laughs> Baby Sabretooth Moose Lion Cub? What? <laughs> My god! Holy shit! Up your arm to your shoulder, then down into your stomach. Only in my case, it is more like a vast ocean. <laughs> the stomach detour is critical. You must not let the lightning pass through your heart, for the damage will be deadly. Holy shit. What? Are you crazy? Lightning is very dangerous. <laughs> I thought that was the point. You teaching me how to protect <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not going to shoot lightning at you. If you're Whoa, that's kind of a cool parallel. I don't I don't know if this was intentional, but I like that I connected it, okay? So he just said if if you, fine, if you don't help me, I will go find my own lightning, which obviously means for his training to learn the lightning. But you can also look at that as like uh with Gyatsu and Aang, like, you know what? Y you guys are sending me off. You're not going to help me anymore. I'm going to go off on my own, but he gets, he runs into the lightning. He, he, the lightning is the issue. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know if that one's intentional, but I like it. Okay. I just, I, 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 I noticed it. I paralleled it. I pointed it out. We're moving on. See? We have no problem with you. We're friendly. Yikes. Holy shit. <laughs> Ah, uh, I wonder what it is. Come on, Ang. Come on, buddy. <laughs> you were there the whole time? Pretty much. Why didn't you do so? Guess it just didn't occur to me. Earthbend, Twinkle Toes. You just stood your ground against a crazy beast. Impressive. You stood your ground against me. You've got stuff. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Ang. <laughs> I can't believe it. Actually, you should probably let me do that. 
Yeah, like you could crush him in. Yeah. <laughs> Think about what's really important. I realize. Hey, guitar, look what I can do. <laughs> you know, I did notice that too with uh, the waterbending master. I can't remember his name, but he was kind of a sexist asshole at the Northern Air Temple. Or, sorry, <laughs> Air Temple. Water Tribe. He was, oh, like, he was an asshole to Aang, and Aang couldn't do shit. And I didn't, I did say that. And I think the finale or the episodes before the finale reaction, I did actually say that it was interesting that like Katara easily teaches them, whereas he didn't seem to respond to the negativity. So that's really cool. That's actually a thing and it's being applied. And I was kind of right about it. I'm happy. I just, I love connecting dots in this show. It makes me so damn happy. Just, and this episode was great with lore. I know it's about to end. That's why I'm kind of talking about it. So we can go right to the next episode, but, uh, it, it was a great episode. I, I love, I love these juicy lore episodes. I really, really do. But, uh, let's finish out the, the episode. <laughs> oh, we're ending on the rain, too. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy fuck, man. Oh. You gotta end off like that, bro. Didn't even do it. Just hurt my feels with Zuko. God damn. All right, well, let's get to the next episode, shall we? That was a dope episode, and I love everything we learned, like lore-wise and move-wise and element-wise. It was beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, we'll finish our vacations, and then we'll look for Sokka's intelligence. <laughs> Your turn comes wonders. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, Star Wars vibes, I love it. Oh my god, literally Star Wars vibes. Is this based on it? Is this based on Tatooine? Like, I, I love this. <laughs> this is really cool. No worries, I clean up easy. <gasps> You're a living relic. Thanks. <laughs> Oh. We go Fire Nation? Doesn't anybody have a good map of that place? You've made a lot of tricks from all over the world and put them on display for mankind to read so that we might better ourselves. If this place has Damn, okay. It's in one Shitong's library. I love how Aang's just been like sipping aggressively this entire time. <laughs> I believe it's my turn. I'd like to spend my vacation at the library! <laughs> Sandbenders. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> Wait, okay. Wait, were they actually implying that they can bend sand? Or are they using air to bend the sand? Or is it earth since sand is natural? What the fuck? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Fill me in. <laughs> no, no spoilers though, okay? If something I'll learn later, just tell me shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. That's what it will sound like when one of you spots it. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. <laughs> oh, damn it, Toph. It's obviously not what we're looking for. The building in this drawing is enormous. Oh, shit. What the fuck? We must be close to the library. Oh, cool. Interesting. Like a sandstorm? Wipe it out? Oh, that makes sense why the other place was dried up, too. The inside seems to be completely intact. And it's huge. That's awesome. What's up? <laughs> oh, the owls are cool. The exquisite mosaic handiwork of this tile-rendered avian symbol is... is nice owl. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Yo. That's creepy. You're back there. 
that Roku's voice actor? Or am I crazy? You should leave the unless you want to become a stuffed head of anthropology. I am this is so cool. He who knows ten thousand things, and no longer permitted in my study. What do you have against humans? Hmm. Used to get the edge on other humans, like that firebender who came to this place a few years ago. Zhao? Looking to destroy Yo. Enemy. Yo. Trying to destroy. Then why have you come here? If you're going to lie to an all-knowing spirit being, you should at least put some effort into it. <laughs> we will not abuse the knowledge in your library, good spirit. You have my word. Very well. I'll let you peruse my vast collection on one condition. First, you have to contribute some worthwhile knowledge. Please accept this tome as... First edition. Very nice. This is really cool, man. Oh, these illustrations are quite stylish. Oh, I know. Ha! <laughs> I suppose that counts. <laughs> it's a special knot that counts as knowledge. You're not very bright, are you? <laughs> That's so cool, man. So loose and shifty, it makes everything look fuzzy. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> I would love this library, just to read all about the Avatar universe. Oh my god. Darkest day in Fire Nation history. Oh shit. Oh my god. Sokka, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> oh yikes. Damn. What in the world? Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> this is dope. It's a planetarium that shows the heavens moving. That's really trippy. Disney styles represent dates and times. Sokka, try entering that date from that parchment you took. Oh shit. Not in front of the fox, he's with the owl. So cool, man. Damn it. <laughs> I want to live in this universe just to like learn about it. <laughs> I got it to you, Sokka. You picked the best mini vacation for sure. <laughs> the library. Hey, wait. What happened to the sun? The sun is behind the moon. It's a solar eclipse. Oh. Literally something awful happened on that day. I don't know what, but I do know why. Who's there bending during a solar eclipse? <laughs> That's fucking cool. Yeah. What the lunar eclipse at the North Pole did to the water bend. We gotta get this information to the Earth King at Bossing Say. We'll wait for the next. Oh shit! We finally go into Bossing Say. are so predictable. Yikes! Such terrible liars. Yeah, Sokka, you kind of fucked up, but we do have we do have an advantage now. But it's exactly what the Owl didn't want. He didn't want us to abuse the knowledge for an upper advantage on another human, which is exactly what we're doing. That's for a good cause. Come on, Mr. Alf Spirit. Be nice, please. You think you're the first person to believe their war was justified? Countless others before you have come here. See oh, shit. We've never seen an angry spirit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What the fuck, man? <laughs> We've met a shifty spirit before, but he wasn't like. Well, he was kind of evil. Oh, let's go, Toph. Oh my god. I beg you, do not destroy your vast collection of priceless tomes! Oh shit. This is kind of terrifying. No, we won't. If we leave this place, we'll never get the information. What is it now? Oh my god. <laughs> Did a check every day before Sozin's comet arrives. Because after that, well, <sighs> I forgot about the comet until just now. <laughs> Holy shit. That was like part of Zhao's plan, but once Zhao died, I was just kind of like, yeah, his plan's null and void now. But 
his plan had to do with a natural event that is going to happen. Fuck. Let's go. See, like, is that actual sand bending? Man, I don't know. Well, shit. Shit. This is not ideal at all. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Would that work? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Good shit, Sokka. I'm not leaving. I can't. I've spent too long trying to find this. My guy. Knowledge is useless if you're dead. You go. If the spirit allows it, I guess. <laughs> it's uh quite a risk. Let's go. Now run after Appa. Is that gonna be a next episode thing too? Oh, you assholes, no! <laughs> They're really gonna do that to me? They're really gonna do that to me. <laughs> Appa! That's really cool though, because I feel like they were definitely based on uh, the uh, sand people in Star Wars, which I think is really cool, because, I don't know, I, I just think it's cool. I know Star Wars is obviously part of like culture. It's not like surprising it's in there, but I, it was it was just cool. Like, no no one that references Star Wars usually references that side of Star Wars, just like where, where the, uh, the character comes from, rather than like, they, they could reference, like, lightsabers or whatever with a, some kind of weapon, but instead they chose to kind of reference Tatooine, I feel, which is really cool. I don't know. But it, it was a really good episode. Uh, both these episodes were great. It was really cool to uh, to get a more of, like, an understanding of both how Aang can learn, like, through emotion, and also how Zuko is once again connected directly to Aang and like is struggling with the same things just in a different way and it was really cool to get like the inner workings of like the the uh lightning like that transference of lightning it was just it was so fucking cool man i love that first episode it was awesome we learned so much lore and little details that i just love in this show it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and this library episode was really fucking interesting. Like, I think that guy was really dumb to just die in the library like that. But at the same time, I'd probably die to go to that world and sit in the library just for a few minutes. Because, like, this world's so interesting. Could you imagine having an entire library of books just to read about this world specifically? Like, oh my god, it would be so cool. It would be so interesting and just amazing. And uh, so I, I do get that, kind of, for that guy. But I also don't understand why he would want to die with the knowledge. Like... Knowledge is, is, is a gift of life, I feel, you know? But it, it, it was really interesting nonetheless, and it was interesting to see, like, an angry spirit and one that uh, didn't necessarily seem evil at first, but turned around and was like, you know what? I'm sick of you fucking people. And, hey, that's fair. Humanity sucks, man. <laughs> Humanity sucks. <laughs> so that's totally fair. But uh, it was really cool to see, like, an angry spirit in that as aspect and uh, definitely didn't expect it when they were talking about a spirit. I was like, ooh, well, What's that gonna be about, you know? And, uh, wasn't as happy as I thought. But, uh, these were great episodes all in all, and I really did enjoy them. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction as much as I enjoyed the episodes. But, uh, I think that about does it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said, we do have a plethora of shows throughout the channel, and Patreon for the next eight episodes right now. But, uh, like I said, I'm gonna get out of your hair. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.